Mm. Okay, let's uh let's jump into the chat right now for a second because Uh-oh. Mr. Allen has shown up uh right. under the Dico deck name and he's talking about the show <laughs> that he just witnessed. And uh the first words out of his mouth were holy fick guys, <laughs> baby metal was awesome, best show ever. <laughs> so that's a that's some high praise. <laughs> oh, it was ficking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it was freaking awesome. awesome, man. And then uh, he said Lordy was phenomenal also. Who, I mean, after 30, 40 years? How long has it been? 30 years, right? 31 yes. years. They better be awesome at the, you know, after 31 years of playing together. But that's really cool, man. Dang. Way better in person, he says. Screw the critics is all I have to say. <laughs> is that uh, including yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, cool. the, I li- they convinced people to get into the Lordy was badass song about the devil being their bitch. I'm sold. Cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's a good. It's a good concept right there. Well, you're getting me excited, Alan, because you know we're all gonna see them too when they come over here. So oh. hopefully it's uh, just as good. How big is that? Uh, the venue he's at? Does anyone it's know? Pretty big, dude. He had a, a little video he shared on our on the Discord, and it was oh. It's so a that, big venue. Oh, the floor was big, and then there's balconies around the sides and back. So. Let me. Yeah, if you could show that, that would be cool. Where the heck did it just go? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll work on this. <laughs> the download box doesn't pop up. Uh, okay, well, I'll just move Discord over here. Huh? I'm okay. trying to get the video without, sure. like, showing our whole chat. <laughs> oh. oh, I hear you. All right. Dang. So it's pretty huge. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people there, man. Dang. Yeah, Alan oh, it looks like a pack show. Starts, starts freaking lagging. <laughs> He's not even here. <laughs> oh, are we lagging? We were. <laughs> we oh, were. dang. <laughs> Um, we, we were, Alan. but that again, that was Alan. Yeah, Alan brings lag with him. See, Alan was, uh, Alan traveled to get like the full baby mail experience because they're at this huge venue. Like he's gonna get the big production. I'm really mm-hmm. curious if that big production, how it's gonna carry over to the 2,000 capacity venue. I'm gonna see them in. You know, we're gonna get way different experiences than he did. But oh, but also it might be even more like so we're gonna have to get Alan and sit him down and tell us exactly what what it was like over there. But like you know they weren't the headliners here, right? Like they were playing as the second to last band. So I don't know if being a headliner it means that they'll be given more production and more like you know time and setup and stuff like that. Uh, while when they come down here. Uh, they might be the headliner, right? Because <laughs> it's oh, a we, got we don't know exclusive baby metal video on on the Discord. Oh. Okay, exclusive baby metal performance Woo! video. Sweet for everybody live right We're now. We're gonna get shut down for this. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's do we it. can have We're an early day. The chance. <laughs> He's so close. What's that? She'd probably pause it for good measure, huh? <laughs> yeah, just in case. I mean, her voice sounds like really raw and and good right there. I love that. Yes. Looks like dude, that kind of sucks. Like Sabaton. <laughs> like, like, I don't think it's part of the stage. There's like sandbags and <laughs> fucking barbed wire and shit blocking people's view. That's <laughs> shitty. But it's also kind of cool. Not really, dude. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Both, they're both blocked out by pillars if they go in the wrong spot. That sucks. That, I was worried about that because I was I was watching fan cam footage from other shows, uh, like in Europe and stuff, and I, I saw these pillars and I was like, man, that kind of sucks. That like you gotta like stand on your tippy toes to try to see them, and then they yeah. get blocked. Is it a safe? It's a safety measure to make sure people don't come on the stage. I'm I guess it's part of Sabaton's war obsessed oh uh, okay it, i was wondering because i was like man what's up with that but it's part of sabaton set i didn't even think that of makes that. sense yeah. i think it looks kind of cool it, it is annoying that you'd have to stand on your tippy toes but i do think the barbed wire with baby metal behind it looks looks pretty badass yeah it does 
<laughs> as long as you're not like with one of these pillars between you and Sue the whole time. And you're like, what did I pay for? <laughs> yeah, that, that would suck. Got rid of the guy at the phone. Now I got a goddamn pillar in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Alan cried at the intro music. Oh. Of course he did. Shocker. <laughs> Sweet. Cries more than I do. I've, I, uh, Alan is, can, can cry to music. I, I have never been able to do such a thing. I don't. I don't know. He feels it so much harder than I ever have. I'm a little jealous of his ability to <laughs> to, to get so immersed into a song that he he feels the feelings. Dude, I cry at at like old Disney movies all the time. Yeah, <laughs> where there's like <laughs> parent problems and someone dies. But like, I think the only song that made me cry was. Uh, the song Miho wrote about her dad, you know, we're playing it live, and she started crying. So then, of course, I started crying. Dude, wait till you're sitting there <laughs> watching some some uh, tear jerking movie, and then you look over at your kid. Then you'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, dude." See, that's the, that's the thing. I didn't start crying to movies until after I had a kid, also. So if you're already crying, bro, you are like ten steps ahead, man. The second you sit, the, and this is this actually that reminded me of something because my son, he's he's 15, right? So he's he doesn't cry unless I like take away his PlayStation, you know. But um, <laughs> he's not crying any movies. And when we watched uh, Avengers Endgame. And uh, spoiler oh. alert, uh, yeah. Iron Man kicks the bucket. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. God dang it. Um, I turned <laughs> over and I saw tears coming out of his eyes. And I was like, that was that was it for me. I was uh, like, oh, my God. I can't oh. believe my year olds crying. Yeah, I when cried Peter at that, Parker too. Freaking, oh. When Spidey went, dude, he was crying, man. <laughs> yeah man yeah and and like seeing a teenage oh. boy crying is is it's hard it's hard because they don't cry at like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, exactly like, like with yeah, songs exactly. songs are like what three minutes long but with especially with endgame where you have like a full trilogy plus several other movies to get to know tony's character and see how far he came from what he was to literally sacrificing his life and it's mm. like you've had so much so much time to get to know and love this person and then 10 years goes, a whole decade and you're like oh well, i know it's rough bro that was, a, that was a rough moment for all of us i think yeah <laughs> but i will say i cried so the i have cried at one song ever and uh, weirdly enough it was a baby metal song and it was uh it was starlight it was uh after oh. their guitarist died um oh. and they wrote the song for him about like how he I don't know if you guys know the story, but like they had a guitarist that fell off of like a star watching tower and that's how he died. So like, it was just like a, just an accident out of nowhere. Right. And his, his main hobby was watching stars that night. Right. So they wrote a song for him called starlight and the middle of it breaks down wow. and they just, they sing this part, this like really melodic soft part <laughs> and just the lyrics in it. I it got me, man. I was just like, Oh my God, it's so crazy. Cause like, I was yeah. thinking about how like these girls knew this guy since they were like, you know, some of them were like 11 years old, right? Like they grew up with this guy yeah, and then he was gone. That's Star crazy. That's Mikio. That's how he died. Yep. Yeah. That was Mikio. And yep. Starlight's written for him. Yep. Oh my gosh. I had and no it's idea. probably my favorite song by baby metal too. I like it just like technically speaking, I really love that song too. So it's got a great yeah. message and it's a great written song. And that one, that one got me in the heart spot, but that was the only time. Dang. Yeah, that like that emotional depth adds so much because like like I was talking about before, you've gotten this time to get to know Mikio and like loved his unique style of guitar, and he's been with these girls this whole time, and then something so insane happens and he's gone. And it's like, yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's it's like you feel enough of it for yourself as a fan, but when you start to think about the people that were surrounded and how young they were growing yeah. up with him yeah. it's so much harder you know Oof. that's what i was thinking about i would just watch the metal galaxy concert which was right after that i think the year after and i was just thinking about how hard that would be for they're basically kids to go out there and do this after losing someone they've literally grown up with and been working with for so long yeah, dude. Crazy, crazy. I, you got to give them credit, man. They are professionals. They have always been professionals ever since they were like little kids, yeah. you know, and now they're still doing it as adults. So I, I love baby metal, man. Like, I know we, uh, 
we talked a lot of like you know coming up with their album we were like talking about this is ever going to come out and we kind of mess around (laughs) and stuff like that about them but uh ultimately like they're one of the to me they're like one of the coolest acts musical acts that's come out in the last decade i think they're just like amazing i can't wait to see them live yeah oh man okay well thank you alan for sharing these videos did you guys want to check out this other video real quick hell yeah <laughs> oh that's gonna be so cool what song is that is that uh we couldn't hear it yeah we me and ryan couldn't hear it oh you but, couldn't uh, hear it the uh, uh was it gimme chocolate oh was it i just heard the oh <laughs> i don't know i'm still i'm not even through their discography yet so i don't know the ni- songs by name but the one that's did like, they go yeah it was because that's good that's give me chocolate yeah 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 i love that riff too man that's such that's so good it's so good it's so catchy Sick. oh man i can't wait to see them but anyway me yeah. too, and I hope they headline. I, I love Death Clock too, but I hope they headline over Death Clock. Hey guys, thank you for watching. The Gaijin guys this year are really trying to up our game in the Japanese music news space, so we really rely on our Patreon supporters and our members over here on YouTube, so thank you so much. So if you guys can help, consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a member, and you also get exclusive group reactions from all of the guys. Stay awesome, everyone. See you in the next one. See you!